Hi, I'm Owen Barnes from DS21 at the Data School, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize month on month change using table calculations. For this example, we'll be using Superstore, and the first thing we want to do is from the data pane, drag order date to columns, and if you use the right click, you can then select continuous months. Next, from the data pane, drag sales onto rows, and we now have the foundation. What we need to do now is we need to click hold control and drag from the row shelf the sum of sales, and that's going to duplicate that field. And now we can add our table calculation that will eventually be used to color our dots. If we click on that right hand side sum of sales and we add a quick table calculation, we can select difference. And what this is going to do is it's going to change the bottom graph and it's now going to show the difference from the previous month for each point. But first, we just need to make sure that it's configured correctly. So if we just click on that table calculation and select edit table calculation, we want to firstly make sure that we select specific dimensions, that month of order date is ticked, and that the relative to is set to previous. If we go off this calculation, we can now save it. And the way that we do that is just from the row shelf. If we drag that table calculation onto the data pane, it's now going to show up as calculation one. And we might want to call this difference from previous. Next, we don't need this table calculation in the view anymore, so we can just drag that off. But what we do need to do is we need to duplicate the sum of sales again by just pressing control and dragging on the row shelf. And we now have the foundations that we need to then eventually apply that table calculation onto. So what we can do now is on the marks card, if we just select the sum of sales two, and we can just change the mark type from automatic to circle. And now each dot represents an individual month with sales. So we need to combine these in some way. And the way that we can do that is by using a dual axis. So on the row shelf, if we just right click on the sum of sales, we can then just create a dual axis. And we now have dots and lines both in one graph. First, we just need to make sure that we synchronize our axis. So on the right hand axis, all we need to do is right click and synchronize the axis and now they're perfectly aligned. So before we use that table calculation, we just need to create one more. So from the data pane, if we just select the drop down and create another calculated field, we want to call this the colored indicator. And we, what we want to do here is we want to say, is the difference from previous above or below zero? If it's above and it returns true, then we want it to be colored maybe green, but if it's false or negative, then we want it to be a red. So all we need to do is just drag that calculation we created called difference from previous into our calculation and ask, is that above zero? And if we now press OK, what we can do now is we can just make sure that we're selecting our dot on the marks card and we can drag that colored indicator onto the color. And now what we can see is three separate colors, null, false and true. The reason we have a null is because for this value here, we don't actually have a previous value, meaning that there's nothing to compare it to. So it's going to return a null. And what we can do is maybe just set this to a gray so it doesn't stand out. So on the color legend on the top right of your view, if you just double click a value, it opens up the legend and we can now assign our colors respectively. So for null, we might go for a gray for false. We might go for a red as we want it to basically say that something good isn't happening here. So it's a negative value. And then for true, we want to select green. And now we can see that, for example, here where the sales went down from November, the dot is colored red, whereas in November it's actually colored green. A little bit of tidy up. All we need to do is just maybe remove the axis on the right hand side and we can just right click on this axis and untick show header. If you wanted to convert this into a spark line, maybe you could do a bit more formatting, removing the grid lines, removing the X axis and the Y axis for sales. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel more comfortable using table calculations to add context to your visualizations. Check out Valeria's tutorial on formatting performance indicators attached. Remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the latest content from this channel.